city lights There's a higher calling on all our lives Let's live to love, not just survive Wake up, what are we waiting for? Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to another video and today we have another unboxing and review video. So uh, in this video I'm going to be unboxing 6 Spinmaster trucks, 5 164s and 1 124. So uh, if you guys have not seen my trucks I've gotten in the past 3 weeks video I would recommend checking that video out before this unboxing video. But if you've seen it and you're here for this video, great. So um... Nah, I'm not going to go in the um, in the order that I've said that trucks in the video. So I'll just start with the 124, and then we'll work our way back here. So uh, we're going to start off here with the 124 Bakugan Dragonoid. I've had this truck in the package for a while, and I've just been uh, needing to open it. So um, I'm very excited to get this truck unboxed with. Um, here are the trucks on the back, actually. I believe this is Series 9, or it might be Series 10. I think this is Series 9. Um, you have the Bakugan, of course, and then you have the uh, Blue Thunder with the roll cage color. And the, yeah, you have Blue Thunder with the same roll cage and, you know, with the same chassis and uh, tire color. Or, no, wheel color. Gosh, I can't say that right. So you have that Blue Thunder. Then you have the Inverse Grave Digger, which I'm still on the hunt for. And uh, Monster Mutt Dalmatian. So that is all the 124s in Series 9. And uh, without further ado, let's get this uh, 124 unboxed with. So. Okay, that one's already been opened. Okay, this one hasn't. I'm not using my knife, so let's see if I can get this with my fingernails here. I really doubt this is going to work. No, no, this isn't going to work. Man, this is sad. Let's just use this pencil that was here. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. All right. Um, let's see if I can get this. Oh, wow. Okay. That was easy. <clears throat> let's see if we can get this. Ah, there we go. All right. There goes the package. Oh, sorry about that. That was kind of loud. Uh, my apologies. Just moving some stuff around. Okay. Uh, then you have the card back here, so that's not important. Uh, let's set the truck off here to the side, and then we'll take a look at the card here. So here it is. As you can see, it's got the warning hide. Choking hazard for uh, children under the age of three, so uh, you should not get this for your toddler. Um, it's true metal. Of course, if you guys don't know, this is true metal. Then you have the Monster Jam logo with the uh, with the fire coming on the outside, and then you have, the ba then you have Bakugan's logo. Then you can see Dragonoid's logo for ages three and up, and then Spin Master's logo. And then all the trucks on the back, and of course, no poster in here since this is the 124. So, uh, that's done, and here it is, guys, the brand new, well, it isn't brand new, but uh, for me it is, the brand new Bakugan Dragonoid 124 from Spin Master. I have to say, this is a very nice 124. There is something caught in the tire. Where's my pencil? Let's see if I can get that out. All right, that's better. But uh, here it is, the Bakugan Dragonoid 124. Of course, these 124, uh, 124s uh, roll very good. So that's awesome. As you can see, the nose, or the horn actually up front, is fully um, posable. Oh, that's actually metal, so it's not like the... Um, that's not like the 164, and this is actually... This can actually move, so that's interesting. Um, but yeah, this is a super cool 124. I'm glad to have this in the collection as always. So uh, right now, let's do our in-depth graphics review. I'll see if I can try to zoom in more. And I'm not gonna fix the um, camera, so I might just move the um, truck down here a little bit. So as you can see, here is the horn. Here is the horn, and then you can see uh, Bakugan's logo, the Monster Jam logo. And then there's the uh, detail on the arm. This arm is actually non-posable, and it's actually part of the body. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, Dragonoid's logo is right there. And then up here, you can see the eye, the green eye, and then the uh, teeth. And then you have up here on the hood, you have the orange uh, horn that can be moved back and forth. Uh, the other side is the exact same thing as the other side, as uh, this side. Then on the back here, you can see the detail that Spin Master put into the tail and then up top here, and then uh, Bakugan's logo is also on the uh, roof as well. So a very nice 124 by uh, Spin Master. 
zooming out all the way. So a very nice 124 by Spin Master. I don't know if this will make my top 10 um, Spin Master truck of the year list, but this might be an honorable mention. I'm really, um, I'm really happy on how this truck turned out, and um, I'm very happy to have this truck in my collection. As, it, as of course, this does have the chrome uh, engine and zoomy headers, and then it has the um, gray, um, yeah, the gray wheels with a uh, red beadlock and uh, some BKT printing as well. So uh, there is the Bakugan Dragonoid 124 from Series 9. Uh, what truck should we do next? Uh, let's do this one next. Why not? Alrighty, next truck we are going to unbox. Let's do the uh, Independence Day truck. Uh, I've already talked to you guys about how my camera likes to turn. i got to get a new... Uh, I might pause the camera at the end and just show you what I'm talking about. So... Yeah, I'll, I'll talk about whatever this uh, this thing that's holding my phone here. So this thing right there that I'm touching and it's moving the camera. I'll talk about that uh, at the end clip of the video. So um, here is the Independent Day truck, uh, Independent Day truck uh, that Spin Master has come out with this year. It is like a um, I would say it's like a 3D modified um, stunt truck. So. I'm a, I'm a little upset that it's the stun truck. I don't know why that truck keeps on getting reused. But hey, the uh, the Monster Jam's 30th anniversary um, truck is another state truck. Uh, isn't not another state truck. It's another stunt truck. I'm a little disappointed about that, but it looks amazing. I saw one of the renders for it uh, not that long ago, actually. Yeah, I know. Uh, but it looks pretty sweet. I'm very excited to get this truck opened with the package on this. Uh, the card art on this is absolutely outstanding. I think this is better than uh, the one last year with Freebird. And then you can see there's the rendering of the truck, Independence Day, July 4, 2021. And if uh, if you guys want to read that, uh, you guys can pause the video right now and read that. But for now, let's get this truck unboxed with. So what would be the easiest way? Let's just go like this. Uh, oh, well. All right, let's grab her out. Oh, there goes the truck. All right, so, all right, um, all right, that's better. Okay, so little plastic card piece, and then uh, the Independent Day trucks uh, card here. Then you can see there's the logo, and then the warning. So there's that. And let's roll in here the brand new stunt truck, uh, the brand new Independent Day truck uh, for this year. I feel like I'm saying saying independent state truck. So if I'm saying that, my apologies. I don't intend to uh, say that. There's something on the tie there. Oh, that's better. Okay, sweet. Uh, this truck rolls perfectly, just out of the package. So I'm excited about that. But this is a really sweet truck, and I don't. I actually do have a state truck unbox with. I'm like, I don't have. I have the normal state truck, but I don't have the inverse one. Oh, I didn't know this can move. Can move all the way up. I kind of don't want to break it though. Can it? Oh, it can. Well, that's cool. I don't want to break it, though, so I'll leave it down. Uh, but, yeah, this is a very cool truck. It's another state truck, but it's, like, modified, so it kind of looks like a Hummer, which I actually enjoy. So, uh, right now, let's do our... Um, yeah, I'll do... Here, I'll zoom in on the truck here. And here's our in-depth graphics review here. As you can see, the... Um, the American flag um, detail that they put on this truck, and then the Monster Jam logo in red, white, and blue. So you got that side. There's a little detail on this black part here. I don't know what that's supposed to be on the truck, but uh, it's there. And then you can see the headlight printing as well as the grill and uh, some more lights, I think, that are down here. And then there's a big Monster Jam logo up there on the hood. And then you can see the awesome uh, black fenders on the side. The other side is the exact same thing. And then on the back here, it says monsterjam.com and uh you can kind of see the uh, you just see the taillight printing well the mold i should say and then you have this black um little i wouldn't call this the, eh, i don't even know what i would call this but you got that kind of looks like the bed of a, a truck so i don't even know what the heck you would call that uh, but uh then on the roof you have a huge uh well not a huge and then you have a big american flag um, printing that I would say or decal why do I say printing I don't know but uh, this truck is very cool as you can see it has like I don't know what color red this is is it kind of like a maroon maybe it's like a maroon colored uh, wheel 
but then it has uh, the BKT printing as well. So this is a very cool truck, and if you're into fourth, if you're into red, white, and blue trucks, I highly recommend getting this truck. I am not for certain if it's available on the Superstore anymore, but uh, if you got it, congratulations. This is a very cool truck, and I do rec recommend getting it if it's uh, not if it's on the Superstore still. So there is the uh, Independence Day truck for this year, and now let's do. The Texas State Truck. So, my apologies on my newest eBay purchase video, you guys. I thought it was going to be on this truck, but um, I tried looking for that video, and that video has been sadly deleted. So, uh, I went back and watched that uh, eBay purchase video, and it actually was the Showtime uh, the Showtime Black El Toro Loco. So, hey, you guys got to see that. And that video was filmed a long time ago, and that's why I was saying that I couldn't find uh, Mix 18 or 19. Uh, until now, at least, because I do have some Mix 18 trucks to unbox with. So, um, here's the Texas State truck. And there you can see the, um, yeah, that's like the rendering of the, U of the USA. And then you can see Texas kind of there. Then on the back here, you have the four trucks. And then you can see the um, United States, um, I don't even know what you call that, but just like, like, just like the outline of the states. And of course, it has the California, Texas, Georgia, and Florida. You can see Alaska over there. Hawaii is probably hidden under uh, the Texas truck. So um, I've only gotten one state truck so far. So I'll see if I can try to get all four of them. And unfortunately, I will not be buying any more trucks. Uh, my parents told me to stop buying them because they got to do their uh, Christmas shopping. And my parents like to do their Christmas shopping early. So... It's unfortunate, but uh, I think I can live with it. So hopefully my parents find um, uh, mix more of mix 18, hopefully 19 and 20, and maybe even mix two of the breaking world records. That'd be awesome. So uh, without further ado, let's get this truck unboxed with because I've been talking too much. Perfect. Actually, it worked out pretty good. Oh. There goes the Texas truck. Okay, so, um, eh, I've already showed you guys this. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's Hawaii right there. It was hidden behind the truck. I wonder if it's hidden behind this uh, Texas State truck rendering. It looks like it, maybe. I don't know. Okay, but there, there goes that. And then you have the little plastic piece that goes along with it. And then you have uh, Texas's card. It says Texas, the Lone Star State. So uh, there you go. And then there's the warning and all that uh, information. So now let's roll in. The studio's gotten all dirty, so I gotta fix that. But now let's roll in the uh, Texas State Truck for 2021. And I didn't get any of these state trucks from last year. I originally was planning on doing it, but I'm gonna get uh, these ones this year. So here it is. This is a very cool truck, actually. As you can see, it is the pickup truck body. I'm pretty sure all of them this year are the pickup truck body. I'm pretty sure California, Georgia, Texas, and Florida are all the uh, pickup truck body, are all using the pickup truck body. So uh, this is a very cool truck. I really like this a lot. I like the color that they chose for the wheels. That's like a, it looks like an indigo color. Yeah, I would say it's like indigo. But uh, how's it? How's he roll? Oh, he rolls smoothly. Look at that. So, uh, yeah, this truck will be making its debut. I wouldn't say in the next sign-up series I might do the Hot Wheels Monster Jam Edition again because it's been a while since I've done a Hot Wheels Monster Jam Edition. And, well, I just did a Hot Wheels Monster Truck Edition, so uh, those trucks will have to wait. But um, Spin Master will be coming back in the sign-up series sometime soon. And um, I... Uh, oh, well, I'll talk about that in the end clip um, later. Uh, too much information going through my head. Sorry about that. So now let's do our in-depth graphics review here on the uh, Texas truck. So I got to zoom in here. Alrighty, so as you can see, it says Texas right there. And then you have the skeleton of a bull or a horse, which uh, looks pretty cool. Um, there's like um, a steel structure right there. I can't tell what that is. But then you have a cowboy on a horse. And then you can see the sunset back there. And then there is the Monster Jam logo. Uh, that's a beautiful sunset right there. And then up here you have the uh, headlight printing, and then you can see the Texas uh, state flag, which has been used throughout this truck. Uh, the other side is the exact same thing. And then on the back here it says uh, the Lone Star State. It looks like a fire on the back, and then there's a blue stripe going on the back for the Texas state flag. And then up here on the roof you have a um, 
you have a decal of the, uh, the state of Texas. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad Spin Masters put in a lot of detail into these uh, state trucks. It looks pretty cool. It has a gray roll cage, um, a red chassis, and uh, indigo colored, uh, t no, I wasn't gonna say tires, um, in in indigo colored wheels. So there is the Texas uh, state truck for 2021. Very cool and I highly recommend this if you're a Texas collector because hey, why wouldn't you want this in your collection? This is really cool. So uh, there's that. And now let's move on to some mix 18 trucks. Um, I'll use this one to keep this card, yeah. All right, so we're going to start off here with the Elemental's Fire Grave Digger. I was going to say the Elemental Truck's Grave Digger. Uh, we have that one, but that's the Elemental's Earth Tires Grave Digger, and this is the Elemental's Fire Grave Digger. So, uh, yeah, of course, this is my very first uh, Mix 18 truck that I'm going to unbox. So uh, here are the trucks on the back. As you can see, we had the re-release of the Red Bakugan Dragonoid for those of you guys who did not find it in Mix 5. The Raw Crustacean, that is definitely going to be a, probably one of my trucks of the year. Uh, Re-release of Higher Education, but this time in the singles pack, so i got to pick that up. Re-release of Scooby-Doo, but with a teal-colored uh, roll cage. The Max Contrast Blue Thunder, the Reckless Trucks Max D, Bro Camino, and the Showtime Trucks Megalodon. So, um, let's get to unboxing this uh, Grave Digger, so let's do it. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Man, fell right out of the package. That's what we're looking for. Awesome. All right. So let's take a look at uh, Gravedigger's card here. As you, can, as you can see, it just says Gravedigger. I wish it was like all fire, like Fire Gravedigger's logo when it came out in the singles. Uh, but then there's all the information there. And then uh, let's check out the poster here. I don't know what truck is on the back. If I had to guess. Oh, never mind. Just give it away. Blue Thunder is on the back. That's pretty sweet. Let's take a look at the poster here. Oh, come on. There we go. That's better. So uh, there's the poster. It's kind of hard to fit and fit it in the frame, but there you go. Then the truck on the back is uh, Blue Thunder. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So uh, there's the poster, and I'll just set that on the floor there. And uh, here it is, guys. The Elemental Trucks Fire Grave Digger. So. I'm going to take the wheelie bar attachment off and just set it on the side. So here it is. Very cool. This reminds me of the Dragon Elementals, but with, like, fire gravedigger's um, bodies on it. Wow, that, that's amazing detail right there. So uh, how's it roll? I'm assuming these Elemental trucks like to roll very good. So um, I'm happy about that. So uh, let's do our in-depth graphics review here on this truck. Uh, that's as cl uh, here. I'll move the truck closer here a little bit. Let's see if I can focus it even better. There we go. As you can see, there is the USHRA logo, and there you can see all the tombstones there. I can't read what some of them say, but then you have the uh, the sc the skull slash mountain, and then Gravedigger's logo right there. But that mountain is super cool. It's all fiery, and then you can see the tree with the house, and then the moon, uh, with the moonlight shining out. And then up here, you have the headlights, and then the uh, flame wrapping going on the hood. The full flame wrapping. Uh, Spin Master has been doing that ever since Mix 6 of the uh, Pink Rim Gravedigger. Uh, the other side is the exact same thing. And then on uh, the roof here, they actually use Green Ghost. Uh, Green Ghost's roof uh, for this, and they just made it all fiery. Wow. Look at that detail right there absolutely outstanding and as you guys can tell these do have the uh this grave digger does have the fire tires it has a red roll cage an orange chassis and a black wheel so a very cool um a very cool elemental truck uh that spin master produced this year uh how'd it go i think it went this way all right so here it goes with this wheelie nice and then uh we'll make him do his moonwalk and He'll moonwalk away like Michael Jackson. Alrighty. Moonwalk away. Okay. Yep. Oh, something just fell off the table. All right. So that was the Elemental's uh, Fire Grave Digger. We have two more trucks, and I realize that this video is almost 20 minutes long. And if you're still watching this, thank you. I do appreciate it. So um, let's just move on uh, to the Max Contrast Blue Thunder. So I'm going to try to speed through this one. 
Wow, look at that. Just falls right out of the package. That's what we're looking for right there. All right, let's throw that away. And then uh, there is Blue Thunder's uh, card. And then the warning sign. And then uh, the poster, of course. And then here it is, guys. The Max Contrast Blue Thunder. I'll take the wheelie bar attachment and side off to the side here. Wow. This is actually a really cool Blue Thunder. Uh, it looks really cool in black and white. So this is very cool. How does he roll? Hey, it rolls perfectly. That's what we are looking for. Uh, very cool truck. So let's do our in-depth graphics review here on him. I'm not going to zoom in the camera because I'll just bring the truck close to the camera. So, I, so as you can see, there is Monster Jam's logo. And then you can see the beautiful lightning in black and white, which actually looks pretty sick, not going to lie. And then you have Blue Thunder's logo right there. Going up to the hood of the tr hood of the truck, you have the headlight printing, monsterjam.com. And then you can see Blue Thunder's logo on the hood with even more lightning. Uh, the other side is the exact same thing. And then on the back here, you have a Feel the Energy with even more uh, lightning. And then you can see the taillight uh, mold slash printing. And then on the hood, not, not the hood, and then on the roof here, you have even more uh, lightning. So uh, this truck does have a white roll cage, black chassis, uh, white tires, and black uh, wheels. And uh, the wheelie bar attachment here has a black wheel and uh, the rest of it is white. So let's see how he does with his uh, wheelie here. Oh, beautiful, look at that. All right, let's take the wheelie bar attachment off and we'll have him moonwalk away. Alrighty, Mick like Michael Jackson and moonwalk away. Oh, almost made it off camera, oh well. All right, so that was the Max Contrast Blue Thunder. And the final truck that I'm gonna be reviewing for you guys today is the Reckless Trucks Max D from Mix 18. So without further ado, let's get this truck unboxed with. Oh, that one did not want to open. Okay, now this one doesn't want to come out of the package here. This is what this is what I don't like here, because now it, if it stays like this, I might have to pull the truck out, and that's how this tire gets bent, unfortunately. See if I can just pull it out straight. Oh, there we go. That was better. Okay. Um, I don't I don't like that when it's like stuck in the package like that, unfortunately, because that is how the trucks get uh, bent tires. So uh, now we can just throw that card away. And then here is Max D's uh, logo and then the information there. And then uh, the poster as well. All right, so here is the Reckless Trucks Max D. I'm gonna take off the wheelie bar attachment and set that off to the side. Here it is, guys. Wow. Look at this. Now this is a Max D. Man, I wish they would um, run this truck in real life. Man, this is absolutely outstanding. Great work by Spin Master on this truck here. So let's do our quick in-depth graphics review here. Um, try to darken up Max D a little bit because the lighting is very bright. So as you can see, there is the Monster Gym logo, and then there is uh, Max D's logo. Tom Mentz is right there, and then you can see Maximus breaking out or coming out of the side of Max D. And then up here on the hood of the truck, you have Max D's logo split in half between the uh, Blackout Max D, and it looks like a little bit of the Red Max D, and maybe even the normal Max D or maybe even yellow, I don't know. And then you can kind of see the headlight printing. One is in black and then the other one is is all black due to uh, the blackout Max D. Uh, the other side is actually kind of different. You have the Max D logo in uh, black and black and silver. Tom Mentz is all in black and then Maximus is uh, coming out of the blackout Max D. And then on the back here, you have the Monster Jam logo, the taillight printing you can actually see. And then you have the flame going down the um, back side. And then up here, it, you have a 12-time Monster Jam World Finals Freestyle Champion, Max D. So the different, um, the different Max Ds that they use for this, you have the normal one, of course. Then you have the red Max D, the blackout Max D, and I would consider this to be the yellow Max D as well. So... Yeah, all four Max D's have been used. I'm surprised they didn't use the gold Max D, although that could be the gold Max D. I don't know. But uh, for the uh, tire, no, not for the tire, for the wheel color, you have uh, brown, you have silver, you have red, and you have yellow. So 
Uh, there is the Reckless uh, Max-D, and then for the wheelie bar attachment, you have, um, it's like a, what would I say this, this is like a charcoal kind of color, and then it has a, a gray wheel on top, so let's see how he does wheeling. Here goes his wheelie. Hey, pretty good, except the camera goes out of focus. Let's do his uh, quick moonwalk here and see how he does. Let's see if I can get him to go off the off camera here. All right. Is it on there? I don't think it's on. No, no. Hang on. I don't think this was on there. Wait one second. Hang on here. No, it was. What the heck? It didn't... Why isn't this one uh, not wanting to go on? Oh, psh, I don't even know. Yeah, it's not wanting to do the moonwalk now. Huh. find that a little bit odd. Oh, there we go. I just had to push it on. So, all right, uh, Reckless Max D moonwalk. Oh, all right, uh, moonwalk away. And he doesn't want to do it. Oh, well, I'll just take that off then. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Here we go. Woo! All right, I got it off. Alrighty, y'all. So that will pretty much wrap it up on uh, this unboxing video of six awesome Spin Master trucks that I've uh, been, that I've had for a while, I should say. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure to crush that like button if you guys like this video. Why not consider subscribing? It is 100% free, and you guys can always do it. We are on the road to 800 subscribers right now. And also, y'all can follow me on Instagram at MonsterJamFan0311. You guys get exclusive content on stuff that I'm going to post. And you get to reserve trucks for Monster Jam sign-up series and points competitions. It is always worth it, you guys, but I don't force you guys to. The link is also in my description. Where, um, yeah, the link for my Instagram is always down in my description, which I highly encourage you guys to check out my description. I do post some key information in there from time to time. Um, also, I have unlocked my community tab, so um, that is very exciting. So I might be doing some polls on there. I might be asking you guys some questions. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited that I got that unlocked with. Um, so I'm going to pause the camera real quick and talk, and talk to you guys about what I was saying about uh, my camera. So give me one sec. So this is what I'm talking about here. This thing right here, this is what's holding up my phone on uh, the tripod down here. So don't mind me, this is all just like com a complete mess, so I'll clean that up. I have to use this to kind of like balance it. I think this part is like broken, so I might have to just get like a new one of these, and who knows, I might want to ask for a new tripod as well. So uh, that's all that I'm talking about, you guys. So uh, this is Monster Jam Fan 0311, signing out.